Hey you guys, it's Katie July. It is Thursday and I normally do my um, updates on Tuesday, but it is not my fault this week. I actually made my video twice on Tuesday and once on Wednesday and I just could not get my webcam to work properly. So I'm on the Flipmino, which is why there's like this tiny little screen with my face. Um, and I will figure out a better system. We'll see if I can even get this one uploaded. Aside from my camera woes, um, it's been a really good week. It's impossible for me. It's like incomprehensible to think that I had surgery 10 weeks ago. But it's starting to feel like this week, I felt like was the first week where gastric bypass wasn't like this huge screen through, with, through which I was like living all of my life, if that makes sense. Like I feel like being post-op is starting to get sort of integrated into my identity a little bit. And so it's just this automatic or natural thing that I'm thinking about in terms of like what I need to do with myself and how I need to be eating. Whereas I feel like the first nine weeks I was sort of high grade and then low grade thinking you had surgery, you had surgery, you had surgery, you had surgery. Because I was really worried I would, you know, accidentally eat a piece of dessert or accidentally like chug some water. Not because I was blowing off the rules, but because I've been eating like that for 26 years and eating like this for only a few weeks. So um, last Saturday, you know, I went out to brunch with friends and I just felt really relaxed and I could order off the menu and there what I wasn't worried, well, what if something goes down wrong or what if I throw up or what if we're walking around and I get really tired, you know, it just felt like I'm back to sort of myself um, and that all of these rules are, you know, I mean, obviously I'm still thinking about them and obviously, I'm still looking at the menu and picking out the high protein things. I don't mean that, but I mean, you know, I wasn't as concerned that like through no fault of my own, I would totally mess up or something wouldn't work out or anything like that. It seems like, you know, I'm getting sort of these new habits down, which is exciting. Um, oh, in terms of the numbers, I started out at 290 10 weeks ago. Um, last week, last Tuesday, I was 234.4. And Tuesday of this week, I was 231.4. So I lost three pounds this week um, for a total of 58.6 pounds in 10 weeks, which is really nice. Um, also on Saturday, I went to Old Navy and I started off in like a really tight 24, Old Navy 26 Lane Bryant. Why Lane Bryant? Something I was thinking about. If they are catering solely to people who are plus size, why are their sizes so small in some way? Like Old Navy is a size smaller than Lane Bryant. It's so frustrating. Um, but anyway, I was really tight in the 24s, 26s. And then I had bought a size 22 for Old Navy and was wearing those, but they got loose really quickly. And so I went to the store and I was thinking, I don't think I'm going to, you know, get 20s if I can avoid it because... I'll just be getting new pants every three weeks. And the shirts I can wear, like, I'm, you know, giving a lot away now of my old shirts just because they're starting to look sort of sloppy. Hi, Max. My cat's right here. Um, but the pants are a huge deal. Like, I hate hiking up my pants in the night, I mean, during the day and stuff like that. So I tried on 18s, and they fit, which is crazy to me. Um, so I'm actually wearing a pair of 18 corduroys right now. The jeans, I got 18 jeans too, and they're they're definitely snug, and I have a little bit of a muffin top in those. Um, but I mean, hopefully in two weeks I won't. You know, they're totally fine to wear now, and hopefully in another week they won't be as tight, and then I'll have them for a while, and I'll have sort of skipped buying a pair of jeans. So I think it was worth it to get them. If I knew I was going to stay this size, I probably would have gotten a 20 in jeans and an 18 in cords, but... Shopping was really exciting. Like, I have never been able to go into Old Navy and just buy stuff off the rack. They only have their plus size online, so I've been buying, and I mean, they're inexpensive. I feel like Lane Bryant's really expensive, and Old Navy just has cuter stuff. So for the past almost two years, I've bought almost everything I own online from Old Navy. Um, and I mean, I still think I'm going to buy most of my stuff from Old Navy because it's so inexpensive. But it is so much more fun to go into the store and be able to try on four shirts and pick the one that looks the best on me instead of, like, you know, figuring out which style looks good on me and then buying five of those in different colors online. 
I guess it's like the joy of shopping is a little bit back, which is really, really exciting and really fun. Um, and my girlfriend's really happy. Like before, obviously, I'd be like, wouldn't want to shop because I couldn't buy anything anywhere we went. And now, you know, we were both in there trying on stuff and, you know, swapping tops back and forth because we're sort of the same size top now, which is really exciting. Um, I did go to the gym five times this week, five times, which feels really, 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 really good. Um, yesterday I went out, you know, with friends and I went to a friend's house to watch, um, Real World Brooklyn, which was really fun. And then my girlfriend and I walked like, you know, a mile there. And then after it was like 11 PM, but we still walked probably a mile to the train. And so we're like, okay, that'll count. You know, it's our exercise because we just couldn't make it to the gym yesterday. But uh, mostly I've, we've just been going to the gym every day after we get off work. You know, I took off Tuesday night actually. Um, the only, and this is like such a bummer, but I just want to be honest.